evening. I'm John Carter. Welcome to Poland Daily. The Central Anti-Corruption Bureau has detained two people involved in criminal procedures today. One of those people is a civic platform activist, Artur Wu, mayor of the Warsaw district, Wachy. The politician was caught red-handed right after accepting a bribe of 200,000 zloty. Agents from the Warsaw delegation of the Central Anti-Corruption Bureau detained the mayor of Wochy district in the act of accepting a bribe of 200,000 zloty. The local government politician received money from a well-known developer in Warsaw, and in return he helped him obtain decisions favorable for the developer related to building conditions. The officers of the Central Anti-Corruption Bureau searched the mayor's office and the headquarters of the businessman's companies, where documents, binary copies, as well as data carriers were secured, which will constitute evidence in the case. The detained men were taken to the Warsaw District Prosecutor's Office, where they will hear allegations. Today I applied for the suspension of the mayor of the Włochy District as a member of the civic platform. I am waiting for further information from the Prosecutor's Office and from the court. We will make further decisions after assessing the whole case in the form of statements from state institutions, not television. The Polish Supreme Court has made a decision on an election protest filed by the Law and Justice Electoral Committee regarding the ballot count in the 75th district in elections to the Senate. The recount was not allowed and the court left the case without further action. Meanwhile, everything indicates that the first major challenge for the new set of senators will be the election of the chamber marshal. Both Law and Justice and the opposition believe that this function belongs to them. The talks are underway, but are branded as a complicated puzzle by civic coalition politicians. That is the reason they still do not have a candidate from the opposition for Speaker of the Senate. Grzegorz Skatyna says that he is an optimist. Polish People's Party politicians say that the Senate should be regarded as a senior chamber, more serious, expressing reverence in all matters, not a scene of filibusters or fuss. The candidate who could guarantee such qualities in the higher chamber was not selected. For me, the situation is obvious. The Speaker of the Senate must be from the opposition, from the Civic Coalition, simply because of the seat count. The ratio is 43 senators from the Civic Coalition to the Polish People's Party three senators, and United Lefts two. The choice seems obvious. I'm sure that the 51 senators from the opposition will elect an appropriate Speaker of the Senate, who will be an example in leading parliament procedures as those need improvement in our lower house. I hope that on November 12 we will joyfully elect a new Speaker of the House. I count on the opposition's solidarity in supporting one candidate. Today, the Senate is taken by the opposition and is being observed by the constituency. An exemplary speaker of the Senate and the Presidium is to be expected. The candidate must be from the opposition. We are not going to agree on the candidate from the Civic Coalition because they are not the only party in the opposition. It is natural that the candidate will be from the Law and Justice Party. We won the election. We have 48 senators. Everything will be finally resolved during the first session of the Senate, during which the Speaker, Deputy Speaker and the Presidium will be elected. The President of Poland, together with his wife, visited the Netherlands today to participate in the 75th anniversary of the liberation of the city of Breda by the 1st Armoured Division of General Maciek. The visit of Andrzej Duda and Agata Kornhauser Duda to the Netherlands took place at a special moment of bilateral relations between the two countries, because this year we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations and the 75th anniversary of the liberation of the city of Breda by the 1st Armored Division under the command of General Stanisław Maciek. The Polish presidential couple met with the Dutch royal couple at the Royal Palace in The Hague and had a festive dinner together. Later, together with the King of the Netherlands, Wilhelm Alexander and his wife, they took part in ceremonies at the cemetery in Breda, when both couples laid flowers on the grave of General Maciek, as well as at the monument commemorating Polish soldiers killed in the battle. 
The president of the House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi, has announced that in the next few days, the lower house of the American Congress will decide whether there will be an impeachment of the U.S. President Donald Trump. This week, the House of Representatives is to decide on a formal vote on the impeachment of the President of the United States, Donald Trump. This would prevent the White House administration from blocking the investigation. This information was provided by Nancy Pelosi, the spokesperson of the lower house of the American Congress. The House has been following the facts, and the evidence has only made the President's own words on his call more appalling. This resolution will set up the structure for the next phase where the American people can hear those facts for themselves in open hearings. Hashtag truth exposed. Pelosi had already announced that she wanted to hold Donald Trump accountable after the White House refused to cooperate in the Congress investigation into the Ukrainian scandal. The Associated Press agency received a letter from the House of Representatives spokesperson that she sent to Democratic congressmen. The leader of their group announced that the vote will eliminate all doubts as to whether the Trump administration must comply with congressional investigation requirements. No, uh, we will not allow the White House to delay our investigation. Um, any acts of obstruction like this, any effort to prevent the Congress and therefore the American people from learning more about the president's misconduct uh, will merely build a public case for obstruction of Congress by this president. Donald Trump was charged with exerting pressure on another country in order to persuade it to intervene in the U.S. presidential election. The investigation in this case concerns a controversial telephone conversation of the American president with the president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, from July 25th. We have learned that a president of the United States abused his power to coerce an ally that is fending off Russian occupation of its territory in order to get political dirt on an opponent. And Adam Schiff went before Congress, and Adam Schiff, what he did, will never be forgotten. He made up a conversation that was a phony fabrication, it was a fraud, and people shouldn't be allowed to get away. They say he has immunity because he's a member of Congress. People shouldn't be allowed to do that. That's a criminal act. Okay. The voting is going to take place on Thursday. Thank you very much for joining me here this evening at Poland Daily. I'm John Carter. Stay tuned after the break for Poland Daily Weather. It's followed by the business, there's the culture, the history, and finally the travel.